bad on the traffic. All right, we're here. Fort DeSoto campground. We're in our spot. Gina just got me leveled, leveled up. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing set up and get ready for some dinner because we hungry. It's a nice little site though. Right over here on the water, got some kayakers out there. Shielded a little bit with some shrubs here. It's a nice little spot. We're not boondocking. There's um, some power over here and there's some water. So, all right, we'll get back with you. All right, so we got everything leveled up, stabilizers down, got the carpet out, the power's hooked up so we can uh, enjoy the weekend with some nice cold AC and not have to worry about our battery consumption. So we're right here, got us a nice little spot, some shade underneath these cedar trees. And then we're right on the, not sure of the body of water, I'm going to have to look at the map and I'll let you know what body of water that is. But Ember, I'm getting ready to um, get that capital griddle going and we're going to cook some burgers. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I took the screws out of the griddle so that I can move it from here because it gets kind of hot. It gets kind of hot in this little area right here. So they give you this strap. So I hooked this strap on to hold it in place, but I disconnected the screws and I'm going to take the griddle and put it over here on the uh, picnic table. And I've hooked up a different line to it so I don't have to worry about the quick connect. I've got it hooked up for a 20 pound bottle little five gallon can that way I can get away from here because I've noticed that the it gets real hot in this little box area right here and then the food smells tend to stay in that area and it's hard to clean when make messy stuff back behind here so popped out these four screws and we're gonna cook on the picnic table tonight I'm eventually gonna get a little table that'll that I can stand up like right here um, still use that kind of as a counter space but for now we're gonna put it on the picnic table and cook some burgers it's a great little spot Gina found us here tomorrow we're gonna take a little adventure we got the kayaks so We'll take off on a little kayak run tomorrow and we'll take you along with us.
symbol anywhere. So our little spot is right here on what they call Mullet Bayou. So we've got the kayaks with us. We're going to take the kayaks right here, pretty much in the back of our campsite. And we're going to launch them off right here and go explore around Mullet Bayou and see where else it might take us. We drove out to the North Beach this morning. There's a lot of places to launch over there, but this is right in the backyard. It'll save us 20 minutes of driving to go launch and 20 minutes back and all that. So we're just going to put in right here and paddle around, see what we see. Perfect view right here, sitting on the couch of the ember. You can see the water. That was great. Comfortable little trailer, the bed. We bought a little mattress topper for it from Sands Club, a Serta mattress topper. Give us a little extra cushion, but it's home sweet home right here. So another little piece of equipment we take with us, we've got this Garmin InReach Explorer Plus. So we pay for a annual subscription. So what we like about this thing, it's got an SOS button on the side. So when we're out kayaking, when we're on the trail, Wherever we are, if uh, something should happen, you can't get a hold of 911, no cell service, you hit the SOS button and it will alert the proper people in the proper area to come and rescue you, whatever the situation may be. So kayaking trips, we always take it. Backpacking, hiking, we take it pretty much everywhere we go. It's great for emergencies, plus you can... Um, backtrack you can hit a record button the way if you ever have any trouble trying to find your way back you can look on the screen on your phone it connects bluetooth to your phone and um, you can get your get your bearings straight and follow basically follow the breadcrumbs back to where you started from so we like that feature about it gives us a little sense of security for emergencies so we made it out here into Mullet Bayou. The campsite is right back over there. Can't see the trailer from here. We're by the right inside that middle clearing. Water looks green. Gonna head out this way and explore around. Snake bird looking for some fish. This little guy's been following us for quite a while. And they said it was 10 to 20 today, and it feels like it. You see the flag over there at the fort? It is blowing, almost standing straight up. Usually that's 25 knots when it's out straight. Pretty cool, popping up and down on both sides of our boat. 
we watched him catch one little fish. It was like a little minnow, about two or three inches long. He looked at us real proud when he got it. Brought it up and wiggled it down his throat. He was proud. He's like, see, I'm a fisherman. friend over there. Cool little mangroves. A lot of oyster beds around. Shellfish. We've seen a few different kinds of shells, like living shells that look like whelks. And I don't really know all the names, but they're alive and moving. They're not just dead seashells laying there. It's pretty cool. flowers into it we followed the mangroves around and now we're heading back and 
Oh, it's blowing pretty good. There's little white caps out here. White caps coming over the bow. It's like Gilligan's Island right here. Oh, we just got the weather forecast here on the Garmin. It says it's waiting still. Clouds are rolling in. So we're trying to make it back across. Probably got about another 45 minutes across this wind. So we got the weather today, sunny and partly cloudy. Yeah, but well we saw that. <laughs> no chance of rain until Sunday, so that's a good thing. All right, I better get paddling. I'm going backwards. So we're heading back over to the campground. We made it across the um, Mullet Key Bayou and the, the big storm. Wasn't a big storm, but man, in these little kayaks, that 20 mile an hour wind, white caps is rough. So I can see the amber from here. They got a great little spot over there. So this half of the campground over here is all pet friendly. So dogs are allowed. They told us we can put in the kayaks anywhere we want. So we chose the backyard. So far it's been a great little campsite. Now nighttime, once the sun goes down a little bit, the no seams come alive. So that's the only the only downfall to being right here is the no seams, but little insect repellent. And they don't bother you. down in that end of the cove there's a real sandy beachy area that um, you could drop in right there there's no oysters and it it slopes down so it's a little bit different than where we are we're about the water's about eight inches deep over here so we dropped down off the seawall pulled the kayaks in so that way we don't have to carry anywhere we're right in the backyard We had a few people asking us, are you going to put in right here? We're like, yeah, the lady at the camp store said you can put in anywhere you want on the campground. So we thought originally we would have to go down to the beach area and pay the $5 parking fee and do all that. So we drove down there this morning, but with our parking permit for the campground, they let us right on the beach. We didn't have to pay the $5, which I don't mind paying their fees anyway. You know, it's helps keeps everything maintained and clean so I'm okay with paying their little fees but we didn't have to and we didn't have to go put in down there so that saved us at least an hour because it's about a 30 minute about 30 minute trek down there the speed limits real slow once you get on the beach road nobody's in a hurry so by the time you load up take them down the beach road deal with the traffic getting down there put in go park your vehicle that's 30 minutes on the way there and then a good 30 minutes on the way back same routine so we saved I see at least an hour just by putting in right here in the backyard yep there's Gina she found a little spot I can get the ladder for you Nope, she's going for it. Oh, she's up. There's a little ember. She's up and pulling her own kayak up. Man, look at her go. Man, I just can't get over the great spot right here that we got. It was a cancel. Can I get the ladder for you? <laughs> it 
Ember has a great telescoping ladder that we talked about. If we needed it, we can get the ladder, put it right down here on the seawall and climb right out, but it's really not that much of a big deal. And we're back. And there's home right there. Well, good morning, everybody. So it's Sunday morning. We've been here two nights. And this is going to be travel day. So it's still pretty early. It's about 7 o'clock. Coming out here to drink my coffee. Smell the nice, fresh, salt air. The tide is low right now. You can tell over there on the mangroves. But the birds have been real active this morning. And the fish are jumping. And everything's come alive here. So I'm just going to sit here, drink a little bit of coffee, enjoy the morning before I have to start packing up. Good morning everybody. Hey, so I wanted to go over a couple little things here this morning that um, we've been using. These Anderson Hitches Camper Levelers. These are the greatest things for this little ember for um, leveling up. I don't like the little square blocks. You got to pull back and forth. This you roll on to it. Um, so far we haven't had much sights that we've needed them, but they're great. Um, I back into where we're going to be and I set one up behind the tire and then I get the little chalk out. And um, Gina will watch me back me up onto it then I've got this little magnetic level right here so after I roll on to it she comes around here and checks the level tells me to come back some more or less and then we're able to um, level up real easy slide the front one in and it um, locks it right in place then this ember comes with these great emergency brake deals right here um, so your wheel you don't have to worry about chalking your wheels they move they don't move on you um, and then the other great part of this it's got this little hitch pin right here so I always hook the little dog little dog cable to it makes a great little leash holder for the dog and so that's pretty pretty simple setup with that little hitch deal so one other thing um, that I wanted to talk about was the Master Volt Combi Master Remote. So what happens here when you hook up the shore power, you press one of these buttons and then you can see 15 amps and it's got an up or a down arrow. So that's going to dial in how much power you're getting from the cord. So what has happened to me at home if that number is up higher let's dial it up because I've got 30 amp power here so we can go ahead and run it up you can see you can take it all the way up to 30 amps 30 amps it'll max out so now you're getting your maximum power from your shore power but what happened at home if I don't change it back to 15 amp I actually put it on about 13 because I'm running a cord from a from a 15 amp receptacle so if you don't dial that down, if you're hooked up to just 15 amps of power, it'll keep tripping the breaker inside. I had hooked it up a couple weeks ago, left and went to work and came home and the breaker was tripped. And Gina said, yeah, it's tripped a couple times today. So you got to make sure to dial this in for what power you're sending to the trailer. So that's pretty easy. And somebody else had asked me about turning the... Um, the inverter off so when you press this button you got this drop down menu this button here is your power button so if you press on this button while that menus up that will turn your inverter off in the same way it'll also turn it on so yeah we're charging good we've been on shore power all weekend running the AC and all so it's been nice not having to worry about is the Sun gonna charge us back up today so there's just a couple things I wanted to go over while I'm drinking this morning coffee all right great blue heron walking by he 
beautiful feathers. <laughs> Just never know what will come down the trail here. Sun's coming up. Smell the nice, fresh salt air out here on the water. Mullet are jumping. Mullet Key Bayou is the body of water. I think yesterday I called it Mullet Bayou, but Mullet Key. There's a lot of little islands around here, so everything's a key. Oh, you see a big one jump over there. There he goes again. Amber hat they sent me. I like it. They sent me the new lock for this compartment back here. It was one of the last things on the item on the list. So I can now lock this little compartment up. It gives you a little peace of mind going down the road. And yeah, it's coming together. It's been a great trip here. Refrigerator working good. I mean, that refrigerator's ice cold. I fixed the spray port a while back, so the spray port's good. The couch is resolved. I was able to move the couch forward. We've got the lock for the back compartment here. I mean, it's, um, it's a great little trailer. I guarantee you that. <clears throat> Camper's in. We're going back um, May 2nd. We're going to make another little video up there slides making a little funny noise but we're going to take it up there just to try to prevent any issues so yeah we're going to be on a trip next weekend on the east coast of florida so while we're over there we're going to stop in 
the campers in, let them take a look and a listen to see what it sounds like to them. Slide works great. I mean, I don't have any issues. It just makes a little funny noise. So if I can prevent a problem, then I'd like to do that. But it's a great trailer. Very comfortable. Suits all our needs just perfect. So it's almost 11, one minute till 11, and we're, um, I just got through at the dump station. And so the North Beach back behind us <laughs> at Fort DeSoto Park, it's a very popular spot. It's probably about two miles down there to the beach from here. And there it is, bumper to bumper traffic. And what's amazing is it's $5 a car to get across the toll down there. Wow. I mean, it is packed today. Beautiful day though, beautiful weather. The cold weather is done. I'm sure it's done now. Yesterday morning we got up and we went down there at like 7.30 in the morning and um, there was no traffic, there was nobody there, it was empty, of course it was early, we were looking for a kayak spot so we were scouting it out Then we realized we could put in right in behind our camper so we didn't need to bother, but man just look at the traffic, it is unbelievable hasn't stopped yet so popular spot Fort DeSoto Beach St. Petersburg Florida April 20 something it's probably like around what 23rd I guess I'm not sure haven't looked at the calendar for a few days haven't looked at my phone for a few days so man it just keeps going and going and going so here we are heading over to North Beach. They do have a nice dog park out there. It's not on North Beach. North Beach no dogs are allowed but on they've got one beach on the Tampa Bay side where dogs are allowed. So you can take the dogs out in the water. They don't have to be on a leash. But we didn't go there. We, um, our time was so short we barely videoed anything because these quick trips they just they fly by in a matter of minutes, it seems like. They're still coming. Not quite bumper to bumper, but they're still coming across. All right, I'm going to keep my hands on the wheel, and I will get back with you. All right.